Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, it's your girl Christina Fashion. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome and join the crew. We're all about leveling up and growing our business together and you'll love it here. In today's video, we are talking about all about packaging. You know, packaging is a hot topic when it comes to the jewelry space. As you know, we want the pretty packaging for our jewelry when someone receives it. It makes a big statement and we're going to talk all about how to create the look, where to purchase it, and how to send it in to your vendor. So we're going to talk about everything when it comes to packaging. And packaging is so important, you guys. It's like your brand presentation from when they see it online to when they receive it. It tells a lot about your customer experience. If you have a packaging and it's crushed up in this brown box with no type of marketing material like thank you cards or any item inside to thank your customer or to tell more about your brand, that tells your customer you don't care about their experience. So, and that's why we want to have pretty packaging because it becomes an extension of what you present online. Online, it's not tangible, but when they receive the actual packaging, it's actually tangible and it shows what your company is all about. If you're all about luxury and you give that luxury vibe, you're connecting with your customer even more, you know? So packaging is everything, especially when it comes to jewelry. Jewelry is used to be gifted. It's a gift to ourself and it tells that person how much that other person care for them. So it's really important that we have a good presentation. And another reason for having great packaging is that you can create amazing content with packaging. Like, you guys, I know some of you guys get stuck on creating content, and one thing you can do is if you have a pretty packaging, you can shoot some images with it, you can show your customer what they will receive, um, if they purchase from you, and that also creates trust. Sometimes, small business owners get bad rep for not you know sending people orders out if you're able to create content with it showing you behind the scenes packaging the order whether you post it on TikTok, on instagram on instagram reels whatever platform you post it it will show a level of trust with your customer and they'll want to buy from you even more and another a great reason for having great packaging is Packaging can be very functional and multi-purpose if you're smart about it. It can be used to store your customer's jewelry. It can be used to use it as a travel bag or a travel box for them. Being that it can be used for their everyday item to store their jewelry, it will allow your customer to remember you on a daily basis, especially if they're out with friends and they're like, oh, that's a pretty nice chain. Where'd you get that from? then they can be like, oh, blah, 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 your brand. And by the way, I am wearing my jewelry from my store. If you're interested in purchasing, I am wearing the Dream Girl pendant and I'm wearing the Figallero, um chain. So I layered both chains. So, you know, if you want to buy, you know where to go. Link in the bio. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it allows you to be very functional and stay on your customer's mind 24-7 because you're in their house. Their, your boxes or your bags are in their house for 24-7. Now, let's talk about where to get inspiration from. That is so important. How are we going to come up with the content for our packaging? I'm going to actually turn you guys around to my screen because I'm actually in the process of getting new packaging. And I want to show you guys how I go about that process and how I come up with the concept on Canva.com and how I create the look and get inspiration from like um, different platforms like Pinterest or even TikTok. So I'm going to turn you guys around and you can see that process with me. So the first thing I usually do is I go on Pinterest um, and then I will type in jewelry business packaging. Um, that is one of my easiest way to find inspiration. I love Pinterest. Like this is your go to. And if you're a small business owner and you want somewhere where you can be creative or come up with creative ideas or just get filler images or creative images, I definitely recommend going on Pinterest. This video is not sponsored, but I just wanted to mention that Pinterest is a great platform for painting all of your ideas. Type in jewelry packaging ideas, um, and then you'll search, of course. Um, once you get on here, you can kind of just look around, see what like look you're into, 
what goes along with your aesthetic, what matches your mood or your vibe for the look you're going for. We're just going for inspiration. We're not doing this to copycat anyone, like, look specifically. But this is where you can just come and just get ideas. Um, so if you like a more of a minimal approach, of course, this, this gives a very minimal aesthetic and vibe. And maybe this is a look you might want to go for. Um, and then if you are more into nudes, um, this brand, Neve, Neve Store, I don't know how to pronounce that, y'all. But they have a brown look aesthetic that you can like view from here. Um, if you're going for a pink vibe, of course, like you'll see, you can definitely go for this vibe. And a lot of times when you're clicking or looking through for inspiration, a lot of these pins will be linked to a, a vendor or a seller that sells jewelry boxes. So um, this one is actually linked to an Etsy supplier that sells this type of look. So if you want this look, definitely click on it. It will bring you exactly to their actual, you know, page. So you can actually inquire about this box. To know what you want for your brand, the best way to come up with the idea or concept for your packaging is to have a brand moon board and guideline. So I have done this recently. I wrote down and laid out what do I want my brand um, to look like? What vibe, what aesthetic do I want my brand to give off? So for my mood board, I created this vibe right here. I sourced images and aesthetics, texture, colors, um, different elements on what I want my brand to look like. I want my brand to look natural, have like warm hints, clean, airy, bright textures. And that is what is represented on my mood board right here. And I just went, looked around for images and the idea of how I want my color to flow. And that way I'll be able to create my packaging based from this aesthetic. I'm gonna look for something with texture, um, maybe something with natural earthy elements. That way it can give this type of vibe. And something like this gives a very earthy texture vibe. So that'll be something I might be into. I'm just gonna keep on looking for what I like. Okay, once you have um, your idea or your concept, you're gonna open up your brand mood board on Canva and you can select any size you want, doesn't matter. Then I'm gonna place all of my inspirations on here. And also for my thank you card, I wanna do a look like this. Let me zoom in closer. I wanna do a look like this where I have an image in the front um and with my logo this time i want to go for a pouch look so what i'll do is i'll create a design and then i'll type in postcard there um the concept was going for this style right here And for the back side of the thank you card, I'm going to look for a template that I'm into. So I think I like this one right here. And then from there, I can like change it up, add my own, you know, message, um, add in my own social media platform. So I'm going to put www.sgirlstore.com. And then I'm gonna change this. I don't know if I want it to be nude. Okay, uh, let me see how I like that. Okay, so this is how the thank you card will look like. Front, with my logo on it, and then the back, that says thank you. So I like the vibe.
And then if you want, you can actually print this thank you card on um, Canva and it can ship it directly to you. So you can click double sided, click the two um, documents that you want front and back. And then from there you can pick how many copies you want. Like for 50 copies, it's about $15. That's pretty reasonable. Um, and then from there it can be shipped to your house. I definitely get my thank you card from Canva because not only are they fast shipping, they print high quality thank you cards and I don't have to get so much because I like to switch up my thank you cards um, on a frequent basis. I'm going to go for this specific pouch because it's multifunctional. I like the color and the color is very cohesive to the sticker label I already currently have. So that's the vibe. So I was able to go from inspiration mood board of how I want my packaging to look like to this right here and figure it out I'm gonna go on Etsy and place my order for the pouch and for, I'm gonna place my order on Canva for my thank you cards and I'm just keeping it that simple because I feel like the simple the better and the less it will cost me overall when it comes to finding jewelry boxes there's different website and platforms you can go to such as alibaba.com alibaba.com is great for like placing like your wholesale bulk orders but the thing is you will have to end up paying more up front but because the unit price is so cheap you're getting more um but it's worth it because in the long run you have your boxes you don't have to worry about running out for a long time but the thing with that one i wouldn't do it if you don't have a signature look um if you feel like you're gonna want to change it up on a frequent basis then i definitely don't recommend doing a bulk order of a thousand or two thousand especially if you feel like you're gonna want to change it up later down the road when it comes to ordering with vendors from alibaba.com communication is very key because they will be asking you for you to send over the mock-up, um, the PDF file of your boxes and where you want your pictures to be placed, um, how you want your box to look like, the type of font. So you want to be very descriptive, be very specific down to the color, the texture. Um, when it comes to the color, definitely send the hex code and not just a random color. Don't just say pink, but actually send the actual color code for that pink color that you want specifically so they get it right because what if they send you hot pink but you wanted baby pink or a barbie pink so you have to be very specific um and then send the font type that you want send like the actual images make sure it's high quality send everything and then show the placement with this one you're, you might want to have someone design the layout or the look for you or if you're tech savvy you can actually mock it up but um, once you send that file in, um, they'll still do their own rendering. They'll still mock it up for you. Um, that way you can see how it would look like on their end once they start producing that actual box. But on, on Amazon, you can purchase like your standard boxes, whether it be mailer or your small jewelry boxes in color black, white. Um, it's very standard. It's not, You can't customize it. Think of, of Amazon packaging as short term because um, there's no customization to it and it's very standard you're getting smaller quantities and the unit price cost more so if you're getting a package of 50 boxes then the unit price on those might be a dollar or two dollars per box so just be aware of your unit price for that another platform um, you can look into for jewelry boxes or miller boxes is etsy Etsy has quickly become my favorite platform um, because you, there's so many vendors on there, especially from China, but the way um, they have their business on Etsy, it's easy to communicate with suppliers from China. They offer lower MOQ compared to shopping directly from Alibaba.com. And moving on, let's talk about stickers. For stickers, there's different platforms you can use. Some of my favorite platforms for stickers would be Uprinting. You printing you can get like very cheap stickers for a big amount. For example, my recent stickers I purchased was my sticker labels. And I've showed this a few times on my channel here. 
and I think I got a bulk of $250 for not that much, probably for less than $20. Um, and they're gonna last me a long time. Uh, so I definitely recommend checking you printing because there's different sticker sizes. All you have to do is just upload the image and I definitely recommend you know creating the image or the graphic from Canva first and then uploading it onto you printing and just and then you'll just go ahead and buy the sticker from there thank you cards of course I recommend um, Avery I recommend canva.com um, and from there that's pretty much how I go about creating my packaging look how I get inspiration and how I go about the actual process of it and I really hope you enjoyed this video I really hope you learned a lot um, and I really hope I was able to level up your packaging and simplify the process so thank you so much for watching and see you guys on the next video and have a great day